Hi again and hope you're doing well. I'm Jody and we are going through top interview questions for most famous companies in the world. We've started from the arrays and strings, going the easy ones. And believe me, in many cases, they will ask you the easy ones. They don't want to see, in most cases, that you are able to write a traversing tree by memory or not. They want to see if you understand the basic of the language, if you can problem solve, how you can think, how you can describe what you are doing, and these kind of stuff. So, easy ones are very important in many cases. Uh, the one we are going to solve now is longest common prefix. Prefix. Longest common prefix. Write a function to find the longest common prefix string among an array of strings. If there is no common prefix, return an empty string. So, if you have flowers, flow and flight, obviously we have to return fn. How can we solve this? In my opinion, this is not very easy. It's a little bit confusing, complicated, and... The point is, my idea is we can start from the first one, take the first character, then check in every single string if this is repeated in the beginning. If yes, our answer will be F up to now. Then go for the first two, check FL in R. If it's it, our answer is changed to FL. Then choose 3. So 3 is here. Here it's not. As soon as one of them doesn't contain it, return the answer. So FL will be our answer. But we have a couple of problems here. If you are in an actual interview, it would be cool to describe this. That I found this solution, but this is not very great. I understand. The problem is, I'm checking every single element m times m is the length of this one so one two three four five six if the answer is flower in all repeated in all you are doing uh six in three you are doing 18 rounds on these ones not very interesting i mean 18 checks on these ones not rounds three six rounds three items this is not very interesting. Still much better than N2. Having two loops inside each other, each of them doing all of this. But still not very interesting. Also, I have to check for the length of the string. Because if I have flower here and checking it with this one, I will get an exception. So I have to check or I have to in the beginning find the uh, shortest word I have and just go through that one. Let's write our code first and we can discuss a little bit more. We will go with Python just because. Okay, so I will assume my answer is an empty string. For L in range of, I want to go through all of this. In Python, if I want to select FL, I have to go with this. Zero till zero. 1, 2, because 2 is not included. So I will go from F, L, 0 to 2. So that would be STRs 0, 0 to 2. This will be the answer. So what will be my range? I always check from 0. The first time I have to go for 1. So 1 to the... Uh, sorry, len of strs 0, and at the end I need plus 1, because at the end if I want all the flower, what I need is 0 till 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and its len is 6. But when I saying range, range from A to B, 
B is not included, so I have to go with B plus 1 to have the exact B. So this is it. This will count on this one. Every single time, what I'm looking for is str0, so I have this. How many characters from 0 till L? I'm looking for this thing. So I will check all of these strings. For S in strs, I can say if s so this one i'm not checking i'm not checking in all i can go from the first to the end so i won't check this one make it a little bit faster this is a substring str1 to the end so from this to the end. so i would say if s 0 up to l equals looking for technically not equals just return the last answer we had. If this loop is finished, change my answer. Ans equals looking for. And if everything is finished, return ans. Should be okay. Let's try it. It was kind of clear, but this is not easy. Uh, stars, not blah blah. STRs and it's here. STRs. Let's try it once more. Our cases are accepted. We will go for the actual run. Good enough. It was not very easy, but this was nice. I was thinking about something else in the middle. That's why I was a little bit confused, if you not confused, distracted. The point is, we have some strings like A, B, A, B, D, H, A, B, I don't know, B, B, A, B, X, and we may have an A, B, C here. If you sort this, it would be like A, B, A, B, C, A, B, C, D, E, A, B, X, and blah, blah. If you are sorting them, and we want to find what is repeated in all. So if only you check the first one with the last one, it will work. Because if you have AB as a prefix here and AB as a prefix here, you can be sure whatever in the middle will have AB. Otherwise, it won't be sorted. So we can sort them. Then you can go with uh, 1, 4, checking for the minimum length of this and this. So here it would be two and check one by one. The first one, the second one. If this is equal to this, forget about all in the middle. This would make it faster, I believe, but you are using a sort command. If you are on C++, we can solve something in C++. If you are on C++, if you are on Python, if you are on JavaScript, the sorting is very fast and you just have a one line sort. It's kind of cheating. Not cheating, depends on the interviewer. They may say, don't use sort. This is without sort. But that would be more fun. You can just sort all the STRs you have and check the same logic only on the first one and last one. Cool.